like that. It's a simple thing, isn't it? Sitting, doing nothing for 15 minutes or just sitting, being mindful. Um, but it is powerful. It really helps us in our lives. So we're going to do it again today. Last one of the week. And um, yesterday I was talking about uh, just being mindful, really, rather than sitting um just fighting our thoughts or fighting our tendency to want to do something or our tendency to anxiety or whatever it is we can actually do something positive and that is to to just experience uh, whatever's happening and that might be the tendency to want to do something or it might be underlying anxiety um, but if actually we can be with things rather than trying to fight them or push them away and um, it really helps us to it really helps those unpleasant feelings to uh, uh, become a bit less so just noticing just sitting here now and noticing what's happening in your body uh, maybe you're quite happy to be here sitting here maybe you feel relaxed and comfortable that's great just feel that that's lovely or maybe you are, you know, struggling a little bit in some way. Then turn towards that. Just see it clearly. And notice, uh, try not to think about it, uh, but notice the feelings in the body. And this, this applies if everything's fine as well, if you're nice and relaxed. Just notice what the body feels like. We pay far too little attention to our bodies. And uh, if we can nurture our bodies, then uh, it really helps us. So, you know, we nurture our bodies with good food, or we try to. Um, so nurturing our bodies with loving kindness and uh, is just really as important. So whatever's going on, just tuning into it with a sense of acceptance and kindness. Try not to push it away or get caught up in it. Try not to let thoughts run away. might have a sense of loving kindness to our body as well to our being really not just our body our being And maybe feeling the contact with whatever we're sitting on. And maybe feeling it on our bottoms, maybe on our backs, maybe even our arms. Whatever bits of us are touching, whatever we're sitting on, just noticing what that feels like. Really homing into the sensations of sitting
And you might notice the sensations of your feet on the floor. Uh, you might have socks on or shoes, slippers. Just, but feel what you can through the soles of your feet. And if the bare and touching the floor, all the better. What's that feel like? You feel a tingling in your feet or a sense of warmth or cold. And moving up to right up to the head, now to the face. Just noticing how your face feels. Uh, I would guess that you're probably holding your face in some way. You've probably got a slight crease in your forehead. And you're presenting yourself to the world. We do this. We hold our faces in a particular way. A little bit tightly so let your forehead just relax if you if you've got a crease in it if you're frowning just let your forehead relax and then the same with the rest of your face just letting the muscles sag nobody's looking <laughs> Just relaxing the face all over. And then noticing the breathing in your body. in the chest breath coming and going the second sense of um, aliveness here sense of really being here right now if you concentrate on the movement of the breath in the chest really present in your life you really get absorbed in the movement of the chest you could you just here in the moment and uh, it's such a beautiful feeling to get absorbed in this movement it can create something called dhyana which is a sense of joy
So if you wish, you could widen your experience out now, just really savoring your drink, really enjoying the taste of your drink. You've got time to really appreciate it. What's it feel like to hold your drink? Warmth, coldness, the texture of the cup or glass. And the, the smell. What's it smell like? And you could widen your uh, awareness your mindfulness even further uh, just taking in any sounds that you can hear and try not to think about them just experiencing them And then the space you're sitting in, just having a good look around. And out the, if you've got a window, looking out of the window as well. And again, try not to think about things. Try not to label things. Just really taking in what it feels like to sit in this space. Finally, taking in the whole of your experience. All your senses working together. Contact with the chair, your breathing, sensations of your body and face, what you can hear, any sense of taste or smell, and what you can see. the whole of your experience right now. So there we are, uh, 11.15, time for me to stop. You can carry on if you want. Um, and uh, thank you to, uh, for, for, to you all for coming. And I just mentioned Dot and Anne, who joined us uh, a little bit later. Good to see you, too. Um, and uh, tomorrow morning, we've got uh, pyjama meditation at 8 o'clock. And then another meditation session at nine. It's the last Saturday when we'll have two sessions. And then, 
oh dear, I lost my voice then. And then on uh, on Monday, we're taking the day off from now on. So we'll be here uh, Tuesday to Saturday. And Kate will be here on Tuesday for both sessions. And I'll be here the rest of the week. So uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, have a really good weekend. Enjoy enjoy the weekend. I think the weather's probably not going to be brilliant, but I'm sure you can still have a good, good weekend. And uh, take care of yourselves and see you again soon. And lots of love to you. <laughs>